Hello, my friends, and welcome to Five for the Future for this week, the week of August 12th. Let's jump into the five topics that stood out to me recently as signals of change that could impact your small business. Where do you get started? Here are our five topics for this week. The Olympics, childcare, retirement, Gen Z at work, and Elon Musk, business versus personal? Gen Z at work. Back in the tech heydays of 2017, 2018, every graduate wanted to work for a giant tech firm complete with huge salaries and cool benefits like ping pong and free dinners. But things have changed post COVID and what mattered then matters less now. Top industries for graduates now are healthcare and government jobs thanks to the stability of those employers. If members of this generation find a place at your business, Bear in mind that they are particularly anxious and sensitive, so make sure you provide ongoing positive support. And if you have some constructive criticism to give, be clear to explain that the feedback is motivated by an appreciation for their potential so that they can be better moving forward. Also, maybe avoid corporate jargon as Gen Z refuses to, as Business Insider says, circle back or get their ducks in a row. They don't appreciate feeling like an outsider when the older employees know all these buzzwords and they don't. What does this mean for you and your small business? Well, it pays to be in touch with the likes and dislikes of your potential workforce. And Gen Z is older than you think. Many are in their 20s and they're in the workforce. Don't be basic. Be clear with your expectations and ask for theirs and things will be so cash. Okay, boomer? <laughs> so what might the future look like? Just when you figured out Gen Z and their anti-buzzwords and their own slang, along comes Gen Alpha, ready to enter the workforce. The oldest are already 14 years old, and according to Fast Company, they are seeking careers that are flexible, personalized, and experience-based. But really, aren't we all these days? Perhaps we're not so different after all. All right, that's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching. I hope these five topics and my take on them got you thinking about how these signals of change could ultimately impact your business. Join me again in two weeks. Thanks.